I'm at the uh, Dogs and Suds uh, restaurant, it's a Midwest uh, U.S. based chain of a uh, hot dog and root beer uh, drive-in style uh, restaurant. Uh, this chain was started in 1953, and by the 1970s, it had had uh, over 650 uh, restaurant units. Uh, so it was pretty successfully franchised. It franchised pretty quick. I read someplace that for a while there, they were opening like 15 a month for a while. Uh, so it's 650 restaurants across like 38 locations. Um, it still operates today, obviously, because I'm ordering from one, but there's only about 15 locations left. Um, they're almost all in Illinois, I think a few in uh, Indiana. You can see from the menu that I showed you, they were mostly uh, uh, like burgers, sandwiches, hot dogs, lots of side orders. You get the root beer as well. So, uh, do a little history here while I wait for my food. Um, it's opened in 1953 by two uh, teachers. I look for some summer work, you know, uh, in Champaign, Illinois. Uh, James Grigg and Don Hammerich. Hammerich? Hammerich? I don't know. They're music teachers. Uh, they opened up uh, a couple other restaurants. They were hoping to just make 100 bucks a day. They were making like 300 bucks a day. So they were incredibly successful. And then it, uh, you know, just took off franchising, uh, just like gangbusters. Like I said, 650 at its peak. Uh, in the 1970s, one of the original owners, Griggs, sold his interest in the business. And a few years later, in 1974, the company was sold to Frosty Enterprises, like the Frosty Mug Root Beer. Uh, so they bought it. Um, so then Frosty's owned Frosty's and Stewart's. And then that's when the decline happened. You know, you got a big corporate giant coming in, buying a, a, a kind of a locally owned or controlled franchise, and they cut costs and switched out ingredients for cheaper ingredients and whatnot. And then uh, uh, the decline started and it went pretty fast. In 1991, the Van Dames purchased the dog and such trademark and identity rights. They were they owned a the uh, they owned a dog and suds uh, root beer place and they wanted to preserve it. In 2001, they created a new company, a TK and C's LLC, to administer the licensing rights for the brand and uh, still owned today by them. And again, about 15 15 franchises uh, um, left. Uh, so we're gonna try. Uh, I ordered this the classic hot dog with fries and a root beer. I think I got a small. I'm a big root beer fan, but we'll give it a shot do a little food review on this video as well um, like I said day 15 I'm gonna look up some locations here I honestly don't even know where I'm at I don't know which location I'm at uh, I'll have to look that up before I get too far um, let's see locations got cheap here we got one in Arkansas one in California one two three four in Illinois I'm not sure where I'm, I'm at the Illinois one, I'm not sure where, one, two, three, four, five, six in Indiana, oh, looks like five in Indiana, one's a food truck, they got three in Michigan, one in Ohio, and one in Wisconsin, and they're still looking for licensing opportunities. I'll show you this one, this one's pretty old, uh, franchise one, uh, very classic drive-in, uh, I don't think it's their, their star, star location uh, in the whole franchise thing. Uh, but let's figure out where I'm at real quick here. We'll pull up the map. Right, where am I? I am at the Robinson, Illinois Dogs and Suds. And that is in southeast, probably more east, I guess. Yeah, east, sorry, not southeast, but east Illinois. Um, really between right in the middle of Springfield, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Evansville, uh, Indiana. So just kind of in that little triangle there, uh, smack in the middle. So we're going to give this a shot. I'll check back in once I get my food. We'll do a little food review then. All right. All right, guys. Not a lot of fries. Standard crinkle cut. Hot dog. I got ketchup and onion. Pretty boring. The Coney dogs, what they're pretty well known for comes on and I got the I guess that's a small mug root or small root beer uh, in the frosty mug so we'll start with the uh, second root beer first it's root beer 
at the it's good I'm not the biggest fan of root beer but it's good so we'll try that for oh kind of it's like 490 dollars so much that all that was so shot fries first are hot they're pretty good a little A little salt on them. I like my salt, fried salty. Yep, sour crinkle. A good and hot though. I'll try the hot dog now. Stare hot dog. Buns. Dry but soft. It's alright. Pretty standard hot dog. It's good. I like it a little hotter, but I mean, it's hot. I like it hotter. For four ninety nine, you get standard fries, standard hot dogs. Um, I'm sure it's good root beer, but I'm not a huge fan of root beer, so it's all good. Price is right. Each family here. Onions are good. All right, so um, one more sip of that root beer here. Logo there. If you can see that logo or not. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish eating, stop talking, and uh, do a little wrap up here at the end. All right, guys, I, I killed it. I ate everything. Finished my drink here. Um, I'll spin the camera around here in a second so you can see the, see the restaurant here. Doing a little reading, though. The couple that licensed the, uh, the Duds and Suds, uh, they have uh, bought, they, they got a company now, and they bottle the root beer as well. And it's available in a lot of different grocery stores and convenience stores uh, all over the place. So I'm sure the root beer business does better than maybe the restaurant business, but uh, they're keeping it alive, a little tradition. So... We'll, we'll give them props for that. Um, we'll turn the rest. We'll turn the camera around, like here in a second, so you can see the restaurant and uh, see what this one looks like. It needs some cleaning and some some work. But... All right, there's the menu, guys. I got the hot dog basket for four sixty. That includes uh, the fries and a large drink. It came to four ninety nine. Comes with a little tray. This thing does swivel. I don't think the intercom worked. I, I pushed the button. She came out, but. It, you know, the speaker didn't work. So look at the restaurant, you can kind of, it needs a good power washing and painting, and some scraping. Kind of just that old drive through though, hasn't been really worked on too much. All right, guys, it was good. Dogs and Sud in Robinson, Illinois, one of about 15 locations left out of a, a chain that once numbered over 650. All right, guys, thanks.